Welcome to the FTP Stream Getting Started video tutorial, which will give you an overview of the control panel where you manage your account and configure your FTP Stream site. We'll start with the account section. On this tab, you can view or edit your account details. In the billing tab, you can view billing history, pay invoices, or amend your billing options. In Service Portfolio, you can add services, upgrade or downgrade, or cancel existing services. Roles enables you to add additional access for the control panel, for example, a billing contact or an additional admin contact. And finally, you can choose how passwords are displayed on the control panel. By default, they are single entry and visible. However, you can choose double entry, hidden, if you prefer. We'll now look at the FTP Stream section where you configure your site and grant access to your users. There are seven tabs, but not all may be visible to you, as automations is an optional extra and replication is only present if you have more than one site. In this tutorial, we'll give you a quick overview of each one and for more in-depth information, you can view the relevant tutorial. The Logins tab is where you grant access to your site and manage your users. We'll return to this in a moment. Information about your site is displayed in Site Properties. Here you can see the details of your plan, the resources in use, your IP address, which is important if you wish to create a site name within your own domain, the server center where your site is located, your site name, which you chose when you signed up, and finally, your site URL. Note there is also a secure URL if you have subscribed to the encryption's optional extra module. Further down are some site-wide controls. See Site Properties video for more information on these. In Widgets, you can embed file transfer functionality into your web page if you wish to maintain customer focus on your own site. In Branding, you can brand your site, add in your logo, fonts and colors. Automations an optional extra, provides you with configurable upload and download notifications, as well as the ability to set files to automatically delete. You'll see the Replication tab if you have more than one site. You can mirror folders between sites, which is a reliable and fast method of transferring large files to and from China. And finally, Logs and Reports has a great deal of information about activity on your site, you can interactively explore real-time and historic logs and you can download a range of detailed records of your site's activity. Getting started is simple and we'll now create a login using a typical example where you wish to grant access to a customer and transfer files. Click on the Add New Login to get started. The login name is the user ID you give your customer, in this instance, customer1. The real name is the name that appears in your listings of all your logins. Home folder is important, as each login has a home folder and by default they are jailed to that folder when they log in, with no visibility outside. We also give them a password. These are the only four fields that you need to fill in to get started quickly. There are many more controls including quotas, expiry and access controls which are very straightforward but we'll take a detailed look at these in the creating access tutorial. So we save this and the login is created. You'll see there is one user ID already present. This is admin and usually the login you keep for yourself as its home folder is at the top of the folder tree and it can navigate to all users folders. We are now going to log into your site as admin. For quick access, click on the View button and then the Passwordless link. You can see the Customer1 folder. Enter that and we are going to drop in some files.
The files are queued for upload. Press the Start Upload button and you'll see an informative progress indicator. Now you see the files we uploaded are listed and at this point we want to log out as the admin user. This time we are going to log in as your customer and we are clicking on the view link against the customer login. Here you can see all the details you need to send to your customer to give them access to their site. At the top is a link to your site followed by the login and password details or for quick password access email this link to your customer. If you want to give your customer FTP access, the details are also listed here. For now, we'll log in as your customer. Note that we don't have to navigate to our home folder because we are already jailed inside it with no visibility outside. Your customer can click on any file to download it or tick the checkbox against the file to display toolbar icons for relevant permitted actions including download, create folder, rename, zip, cut and paste, copy, delete and finally get direct download link. This functionality provides a direct link to any file on your site. As you can see there are many more features and we encourage you to look at the other video tutorials. This concludes our getting started with FTP Stream tutorial.